Most developers know exactly how to write SQL queries, but what about the rest of your team? The marketers, the product managers, and even other engineers who need answers fast. A lot of the times, you are not blocked by complexity, but we are blocked by access. Now imagine you can ask questions like, how many pro users signed up last week? What was your revenue like last week? Even as a developer, you can ask in plain simple English, add a column to the orders table, create a new staging branch, and so on. And it just works safely without you having to write a single line of SQL code. Because if AI can talk to your Postgres database, then why the hell not? We should definitely let it. So that's exactly what I built today. A chatbot that gives your entire team natural language access to your Postgres database. It uses AI to understand your question and uses the MCP servers to let you safely execute them inside isolated branches with zero risk to production. No dashboard, no delays, just simple quick answers. And this video is part of my AI agent series where we build different types of real life agents that solve real developer and product problems. So if you haven't already, definitely check out the full series to see what else we have built. So what are we waiting for? Let's dive in. A lot of the times the questions that we want to ask our database aren't that complex, but getting the answers typically is. Maybe it's marketing asking for last week's revenue, or if it's product wanting to know how many users tried out the new feature, or you wanting to see if any database migrations have failed in the past week or not. Either way, it usually means that we have to switch tools, write raw SQL queries, hoping that you don't break production and so on. But what if you could just stay in your flow and just ask without having to go through 10 different tools? And the best spot for us developers to stay where we are at, or even any of your team members, be it marketing, product, QA, and so on, is to ask directly in the editor or even Slack, for example. And that's exactly what we are going to build today. So let's take a look at this quick diagram. We have all of these different editors and tools that we can use to basically query our database. For example, if you are in Cursor, WinSurf, Claude, Klein, Z, or Slack, any of these, we can just type in there in the editor using natural language. And we can ask for things like listing projects, creating a new project, listing tables in a database, and so on. Anything that we want to know about our database. And what's going to happen is then we are going to connect to a MCP server. Now, if you don't know what an MCP server is, MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. It's essentially an open protocol that standardizes how applications provide context to different LLMs. And I think this is a really good example of it. Think of it. MCP like a USB-C port for AI application. So because AI is evolving, there are so many different ways to communicate with AI. Having a standard for how to communicate with AI makes it a lot simpler for us to use. Now in the past, in a past video, I also talked about the Versal AI SDK and even Convex for how it provides a really good solution for standardization of AI tools. Same idea with with MCP as well, it again acts as a USB-C, a standardized way to connect our different applications and so on. So that's, that's exactly what we have here an MCP server. Now this specific MCP server is in fact from NeonDB. Now NeonDB is a fully serverless Postgres platform. It allows you to build reliable and scalable application faster. Now, if you are a regular subscriber on my channel, then you know that how much I love Neon. I have been using Neon since like forever in all my videos because all my products, my courses, my products, my different applications that I've built so far, a lot of them use NeonDB as the database. And here's why. One, it's very easy to get started. With the latest evolution of AI, I think Neon has been really integrating very well with all the tools that I have and it's just way easier to just use it. One of my favorite features is in fact the branching workflows. And just like how you create GitHub branches for different features, you could create branches for your database. So you can just say, I want a specific copy of the database for it to be in this branch. I want the production data in this other branch and so on. And you could just resume specific branches and replace and swap branches easily as well. So it makes it easier to debug your application and you don't have to worry that you have messed up your production data which is really cool. So Neon is a sponsor of this specific video, but 
Even if Neon wasn't sponsoring, I would have still used Neon DB for this specific video as well because of how seamless it is to integrate with AI applications. And this specific series is dedicated to helping you build and deploy your own AI agents. And if you are interested in setting up your own database, which again has a pretty generous free plan, then definitely check out Neon and click the link in the description below to get started. And Neon on top of that also provides their own MCP server. What this means is we just have to connect to this specific MCP server, which provides us with a bunch of different tools here. You have seen this diagram in the past, which is an AI agent framework where different tools would basically mean we are giving access to different functionalities that AI should have access to. In a previous video, I talked about how these were the different tools, writing social media posts, writing professional emails, and we wrote those tools from scratch. In this specific video, we are talking about tools that Neon has already created for us that we could just essentially use. For example, listing projects, preparing database migration, creating branches, listing slow queries, and so on. So it's going to do the, the tricky part for us, which is to interpret a natural language and then accordingly call the specific tool necessary for it. And not only this, these are not the only tools that Neon has. In fact, this specific MCP server has all of these tools supported. So you could just query and ask anything that you want in plain natural language to your database and it's just going to do it. But that's how easy it is. Now, without further ado, let's go and build this. Now we are going to use cursor and client to set up our AI agent. After I show you how to do it, you will know exactly how to do with all the others as well. So don't worry if you're using other editors. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to head over to the neon documentation and click on sign up. Now, if you haven't already, please create your free account. Again, all of this, this entire tutorial is completely for free. So don't worry. And now if we go to Google and we are going to go ahead and sign up. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of data here. I'm not going to dig into the data because I don't want to leak any sensitive information. But once you do sign up, you will be redirected here. Use the link in the description below to sign up and we can go ahead and create a new project if you want and then pick a database name and so on. And then let's just go ahead and create a test database. For example, we are just going to say maybe like AI agents and let's give it a name AI agents as well. And let's keep it closer to us. Sure. And let's just go ahead and create it. Now, as we do, we can press on connect and this is where we're going to find information about our database connection string. If you want, we can create new database, create different branches. Like I talked about, it has automatically created a production and development branch, but we don't need to worry about any of that. Now over here we have tables and now you can see AI agents table has already been created for us. So now I can just press plus and here I can just create a new table. It has this really handy UI that we could use. So I'm just going to create a table called dogs and let's add another column, which is going to be of data type text and that's it. And now let's just go ahead and create it. Now, as you can see, these are the two columns here. Now let's just rename the column from go to column name. Let's just call this name. And now let's just go ahead and create it. Now this is exactly how our table will look like and create the table. Now we can ask more information in this specific table later on as well. Now the next step for us is to head over to this specific documentation. Now, as I said, we can set up with any of these editors, but, and let's focus on client first. Now client is completely for free, which is why we are getting started with it. And as you can see over here, we can open client. It's a VS code extension. If you don't know this extension, I'm really going to blow your mind because how beautiful this extension is. You could create agents with it. You could do a lot with Klein and in your company, if you're not using Klein, I highly recommend you to use it because it's that freaking good. As you can see, it has 1.6 million installs as well. So if you go to install Klein, then you can go ahead and install Klein and press install. It's going to open up your VS code instance. What we're going to do is go to VS code and go to extensions here and in look for Klein. Now, as we do, let's just go ahead and install Klein. And now you have this little option here called as Klein. And now this is the first thing you're going to see. You're going to get started for free or use your own API key. Let's press get started for free if you haven't already. And as you can see here, since you already have an account, it has logged me in. I'm going to continue with Google, for instance, and I'm going to authorize VS Code and Klein. 
and now it's just going to open up client and log me back in for example so now i'm going to press done so now if you go back to the documentation and go to client you will see there's an mcp server icon in the install section and configure ncb server is what we want to click and let's copy this and paste that we go back here let's press the specific icon here let's go to the install section and press configure mcp servers and paste what we copied this is going to help you connect with the mcp server of neon and configure our neon mcp server now anytime we query our database it's just going to invoke the neon instance that we just set up and as you can see all the tools that it has access to and so on so now if i press done and go here let's just say list my neon db projects and as i do it's gonna make the api requests and the user wants to list the neon db requests the most relevant tool for this task is list projects and it's going to use that and now we just have to approve it again it did not go through for some reason so we can approve it again and now you can see it's in fact making the api requests and you are going to see the latest database that we created it is project that we created ai agents along with all the others as well now we can just go ahead and say how many users exist in ai agents project and now again it's going to figure out what query it needs to make again and it's just gonna tell us that this is get database tables is the right tool for it and now it's in fact making the api request for us which is really freaking cool and all of this is going to be completely free and there's one step that because i had already set up client with neon you just have to go ahead and approve it that's the approval i did not get but you should get make sure to approve it so it knows how it can connect this specific mcp server and client with your neon table neon database i'm gonna go ahead and approve it again and again it's making the api request and you can already see how handy it's gonna be for all our teammates who are not technical for example if there are product folks or if they are marketing folks and so on then they can just use this so you can see it currently only has one table dogs no user related tables or authentication tables at all which is really awesome and now I can also say create a new user inside dogs table. Let's see what it does because it's just going to create the ID and name, for example. And you can see insert into dogs, it has created value user one. I can say create a new dog called as Kobe. And let's see what it does now. Hopefully it should just create a new dog here. And I can see Kobe has been created, which is pretty freaking cool. So as you can see again it says cannot insert a non-default value okay i'm just gonna approve it and now it is creating id1 with name kobe task has been completed so now if i go back here you will see that we have an id1 with name kobe here which is exactly what we want so this is how you can essentially create and query the database and if you go back to the diagram you will notice that it has in fact used a bunch of different tools that we gave access to to set, set this all up for us, which is really freaking cool. And I would definitely say this is probably the most easiest AI agent that we have created. And you could basically set this up in your company to give all your team access to database queries and so on. Now, Neon has definitely made this integration really smooth. And you can see how it's such a great partner for creating AI agents or AI projects as well, because a lot of our pro projects on this channel definitely use the Neon database, the Neon platform as well. And so now we could do the same thing with Cursor as well. For example, we go can go to Cursor, but this time let's just go to Cursor settings and go to Cursor settings, go to a section called MCP. As you can see, I already have a section here for Neon. But I have pasted basically the same MCP server config that I did earlier. I want you to do the same. As you do, you will again get a prompt to authorize it because I already have authorized my Neon database. I don't need to again, but this is in fact set up as well. Now this is gonna be really handy. Cursor is something I use daily. So that's gonna be really awesome. So now if I go back here and type list my database projects, it's just going to list all my database projects. I'm just going to press run tool. And now it has listed all my database projects, just like the other 
client editor as well. And now I'm going to say create a new column called created ad and updated ad in the docs table. And let's see what it does. So it's going to use the MCP tool for list projects and it's getting the database tables. As you can see, it's going through step by step exactly what you, you would need to do. And it's preparing the database migrations, for example, and you can see the query as well. So if you feel something is iffy, you can automatically tweak that. It's ordering the table and adding these two columns and it's going to run the SQL and let's see what happens. It has created it. Temporary branch name has been created as well for safety reasons, which is exactly what we want and which is exactly what I was mentioning earlier that it is going to do it in such a way that it doesn't impact your production data. So now if we go back to the console, you can see I already have the specific branch. If I like this branch, I can then merge it to my existing database. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to tables. I'm actually in fact connected to this specific branch and you can see created and an updated as was in fact created, which is really freaking cool. That means it just does it in a safe manner. So we don't have to worry about accidentally breaking something. We can also see what everyone else is asking for. And you may only want to give access to maybe the development database and so on. But even if you don't, it's creating these branches that will allow us to make queries more safer. And just like cursor and we did for client, you could also do it for all the other IDs as well. You look for the M MCP server section in their config and set up the exact same server tooling as well, like we did. And it's just going to work seamlessly for you and call all these different tools as well. Now, if you are building AI agents, this is the kind of infrastructure that keeps up. It's fast, it's safe, it's flexible. And this video is in fact part of my AI agent series where I build real tools that treat AI like a senior engineer on your team. Check out the rest of the series to see how I'm building agents that debug code, rewrite migrations, and now manage entire databases. A big thanks to Neon for sponsoring this one. If you'd like to try it out, then definitely check the link in the description as well. Now, if you like this specific video, please let me know what is the next video in the series? What is the next AI agent that I should create? This is something that you had asked for. Uh, AI agent that can talk to your database and that's exactly what I delivered. So please comment below and let me know what is it that you would want to see next. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.